What's going on, everybody? Spunky991 coming to you guys with another video. Could the Eagles owner Jeffrey Lurie be possibly get ready to make some changes this offseason? Well, according to reports, Jeffrey Lurie, just like all of us Eagle fans, is not very happy with the way this team has been performing this year. According to a report, uh, Jeffrey Lurie, after the Eagles win against the Dallas Cowboys, which they barely won against a, you no, know, a um, four-string quarterback. Doing, doing, you no. Know, after that game, Jeffrey Lurie made it very clear to the coaches what he thought, the, how the Eagles performed that game, particularly their offense. And you know, he made he made it very clear to them that he was not very happy with that, you know, with the, with their performance in that game. And he sh and he shouldn't be. He definitely shouldn't have been, you know, because against a four-string quarterback, this team struggled, like absolutely barely beat that team. So, you know, Jeffrey Lurie uh, has made it clear that um, you know, he's not happy about that, and that um. Uh, it's possible that Jeffrey Lurie could be get ready to uh, clean house this, um, you know, in January if the Eagles don't make the playoffs. And for me, that's what I fear. I fear that because, you know, the playoffs is what's been keeping the um, Dub P's an employee. You know, the, the past two seasons, even though this team has clearly regressed, but they, but because they're in such a horrible division right now and they've been able to get to the playoffs, that's been keeping Dub P's an employee by the Eagles. So. Yeah, you know, according to reports that the Eagles don't win the NFC East and go to the playoffs, that uh, Jeffrey Lurie is possibly getting ready to blow things up. Uh, he has been quoted as saying that a Armageddon is happening in January if this team does not get things together. So I'm very happy that he's, to hear that he's not happy, that he is seeing what we're seeing, and you know he's you no know, he you know that he's um getting tired of seeing this crap like we like all of us are. So I'm glad to hear that you know that you know that um. You know that he spoke to the coaches about the performance after that game. That um, you know that you no know, that he that he is possibly get ready to pull the trigger and make some moves this off season if the Eagles make the playoffs. So for me, it's as simple as this: fuck the NFC East. I told you guys in my previous video, I don't want to win the NFC East because I don't want that to be an excuse to keep Doug Peterson and the Harry Roseman employed. And so for what I saw at this report. If the Eagles make the playoffs, then that that's probably going to protect their job. And if that protects their job, then this shit is it's not going to change. It's not. You know, you're just going to bring them back for another season, and this team is going to struggle again. And if the NFC East is, continues to be a terrible division, they still have a chance to win the division go to the playoffs, and just like this case is this year. So I'm sorry, but winning the division going to the playoffs – you know that 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 right there for me is not it, it should not you know keep um dub piece of job safe so that's what i fear that L the way lurie was seeing things you know the past two seasons the eagles made the playoffs but they have regressed since their 2017 super bowl team they just got worse and worse each year but dub peason has managed to keep his job just because he's in a terrible division so i'm like i said man fuck the nfc east winning the nfc east i don't want to win this division and it, no, I, I do not want to win this division because I do not want that to be an excuse to keep um, the piece and the Harry Roseman employed. So um, yeah, you know, um, you no know, Jeff, I'm happy that Jeffrey is you no know, Jeffrey Lurie is not um, happy about this. But you know, if I was him, I would fire their ass even if, even if we do win this horrible division. That's that's not an accomplishment. That is not a huge accomplishment winning the NFC East. You look at how terrible this division is. That is not an accomplishment. We Eagle fans that passionately support this team, not just with our emotions, but also financially. Those of us who give money to this team by buying the merch, by uh, you know paying for the tickets to go to the game, we deserve a whole lot better than this shit. The P's have told us after the Super Bowl, you know, after Super Bowl 52, that this is gonna be the new norm. The new norm. <laughs> the new norm. This team was clearly a one and done team. They were clearly a um a one a one hit wonder. That's clearly what they are. It's time it, it is time to make moves now. It is time to start you no know, uh, firing motherfuckers now. It's time to start making the you no know, um get get rid of some of this garbage. Um, coaches, players, it's time to blow it up. Now, you no know, Lurie's you no know, Lurie is probably gonna wait to the off season if he does make firings, but um. We need, we need to send a message right now that nobody's job is safe. Nobody's job is safe. And that, um, you know, that, that, and that this type of crap that we're seeing on the field is no longer going to be tolerated.
It's, it's absolutely ridiculous, beyond freaking ridiculous. And um, if, if I was Jeffrey Lurie, this is what I would personally do. Since he's not going to fire anybody immediately right now, um, the, the final game of the season, week 17, no, week 17, I would go, you no, know, after that game concluded, I would uh, call Jeffrey Lurie, excuse me, Jeffrey Lurie, I would call Harry Roseman, I would call Doug Peterson, I would call Jim Swartz, I would call them all in the office, and I would hand them their pink slips right there. Because it's not just the coaches, you know, that need to go. Yet, you know, Roseman and um, Swartz got to go, but, but, but Harry Roseman needs to go as well. We Eagle fans were praising Roseman for years, myself included. I'm guilty of that, so I'm not going to try that like I wasn't. But, Jer but, but Harry Roseman is great at, con he, no, he, he's, he, no, he's, he, he has this perception of being great at contracts, which, to be honest with you, all he does is just backload those contracts, and then down the road, it puts us a cap hell like it's going to do this offseason. So he really is not all that great with contracts either. He just backloads those contracts, kicking it under the rug for later down the road, and then later down the road, we got to deal with cap hell. The Eagles are going to be way over the cap this offseason, which means that they can't really make any big moves to bring talent in. So Roseman really is not all that great with contracts either. But he absolutely sucks. Absolutely sucks when it comes to drafted talent. The amount of talent that this Eagles could have got on this roster, they could have drafted DK Metcalf. <laughs> uh, that would just hurts the hell out of me the most out of all of them. Just so much talent, such as DK Metcalf, that, that Roseman passed on and drafted bombs like J.J. or Sago Whiteside, who has not done a damn thing, has not done a damn thing in his, three, in his two years here in Philadelphia. Uh, Travis Fulgham already has more career receptions, uh, touchdowns, receiving yards than J.J. or Sago Whiteside. And Travis Fulgham has only played a few games you know, here in Philadelphia this season. And he already has more you know, more career stats than our single white side does his whole career. So yeah, when it when it comes to evaluating talent, like in drafting talent, Roseman sucks. He gets lucky here and there to find some talent, like some under undrafted, you know, uh, free agents or whatever, like like Fulgham, like uh, Greg Ward. But, but overall, when it comes to drafting players, he's absolutely terrible, beyond freaking terrible. <laughs> Miles Sanders is one of those few exceptions, but you look at particularly our 2017 draft, draft, um, you know, the, the draft in 2017, only two players from that roster still remain on the Philadelphia Eagles. And that, no, one of them, one of them for sure is going to be gone after this season, I believe. I believe, I believe Nate Gary be gone. Uh, Darryl Barnett possibly will, you know, Darryl Barnett, you know, our first round draft pick that year, you know, uh, if, you know, if he doesn't really start picking it up, he will be gone soon as well. So, Roseman, has this uh, perception of being a great contract, you know, contract guy. But when it comes down to it, he really is not that great at contracts either. All he does is just backload these contracts, kick it, kick it, kick the can down the road, if you will. And down the road, it, it comes back to bite us in the ass, which is why the Eagles are going to be at cap hell for so many years. But, he, you know, his ass can go. We need a new GM. Um, Doug Peterson, since he's so damn stubborn, he does not want to put Carson Wentz on the bench. Since he does not want to give up play calling, make adjustments like a coach is supposed to do, your ass could definitely go. You don't get a pass for Super Bowl 52 anymore for me. And you shouldn't get a pass for any Eagle fan, but I have seen some Eagle fans out there that still give him a pass for Super Bowl 52. You no, know, I, I would thank him for helping bring us our first Super Bowl, but this is a results business. It's, about, it's not about what you did in the past. It's about what you've done for us lately. And lately, this team has been absolutely they, – they have just been – you no, know, from from every year since then, just been regressing year after year after year. Jim Swartz, you know, his ass can go as well. You know, this defense, um, you know, you no, know, this defense is not that great either. They they have their moments here and there where they play good, but he can go as well. I would just clean. I would just clear house with the coaching staff. The only guy I would probably particularly make a, a, a exception for in the coaching staff is Deuce Staley. But just about everybody else in that coaching staff can go. We need to start over fresh. We Eagle fans, you know, we support this team passionately. We deserve a whole lot better than the crap that we're seeing right now. It's just getting worse and worse. And thanks to our idiot GM, Harry Roseman, thanks to him giving that dumbass contract to Carson Wentz, we can't move on for Carson Wentz right now. We cannot move on for Carson Wentz right now. Um, 
we he we're stuck with Carson Wentz for at least the next you no know, at least 2022. We're stuck with Carson Wentz and that's in that ridiculous contract. If I'm Jeffrey Lurie, I will put him on notice that you know your performance, your play has got to get better. You just been regressing. All you've done, all you've been doing is just regressing and getting worse. So I will put him on notice that just be, just because you know you no know, we, we we made you the franchise we paid you as a franchise quarterback does not mean that you will not you know that you that you are safe either. You know we're stuck with him for the next two years, but that does not mean that you know he's gonna get a free pass and be able to do whatever the hell he wants. He needs to be put on notice as well. You know I, I you know I would you know I would personally bench him if I was Doug Peterson, but Doug Peterson's not gonna do that. So if he wants to, you know, he wants to uh, go down with the sinking ship. If he wants to continue to be stubborn, then hey, you're, you're digging your own grave. This all season, your ass can go. So, like I was saying, man, Jeffrey Lurie, apparently, according to the reports, he made it very clear to um, the coaches how he felt after that Eagles game win against the Cowboys, our last win so far to date, um, a game in which the Eagles struggled, absolutely looked terrible. You know, Jeffrey Lurie was obviously up there in the box watching that game, looked absolutely atrocious. He made it very clear that how dissatisfied and displeased, like all of us Eagle fans have been, just how displeased he was with what he saw that game, and he should be. But like I said, you know, if I'm if I'm if I'm if I'm Lurie, I don't give a shit. The only way Doug Peterson keeps his job, if I'm Jeffrey Lurie, the only way Doug Peterson keeps his job is if he let's go one, let's go play calling, and two, this the Eagles going to win the Super Bowl this year. But we all know that both of those things are not going to happen. <laughs> Neither one of them are going to happen. So no, <laughs> it's not going to happen. Jeffrey Lurie is not going to give. Excuse me, Doug Peterson is not going to give up play calling. And the Eagles are not going to win the Super Bowl this year. But that's the only way Doug Peterson, if I'm Jeffrey Lurie, if I'm the owner of the Eagles, that's the only that's the only way he keeps his job. You no, know, after, after this season. You no, know, it, it's it's just beyond frustrating, man. You know, you love you no know, when you're so passionate about a team the way I am about this about the Eagles, the way we're all as Eagle fans are about this team. It's so pat. It's it's just. It, it, it's it's just it just absolutely it's, it sucks just to sit here week after week and have to come on here and talk about the same shit week after week because we see the same shit week after week. The Eagles are now you know uh, you know they they still are in the lead for the NFC East, but like I told you guys, man, fuck winning the NFC East at this point. I don't care at this point. I do not care winning the NFC East. No. It does not matter who wins this garbage division. They will be a first-round playoff exit. They will be. So, you know, winning when, when this trash-ass division, which, like I said, trash with meaning that every single team in this division is trash. <laughs> the leader is us with three wins. It does not matter who wins this garbage division. They will be a first-round playoff exit. And, you know, I've seen some of these fans now coming out talking trash and stuff. A lot of these cowboy trolls who comment on my videos and stuff, like, it's, it's just funny how they came out of hiding now that they finally got their first win. They first get, they finally got a win, you know, in, in, in you know, quite a bit of games against the Vikings. Now they all of a sudden seem to think that the, that the Cowboys are all of a sudden going to be going to be a force again. Sit your asses down, trolls. Sit down. You know, it, it doesn't matter who wins this damn division. Rather, it's the Eagles, the Giants, the Cowboys, the Washington football team. None of these teams are good. None of these teams are gonna make any noise whatsoever. Um, no, neither one of none of them are gonna make any noise whatsoever. No, um, no, in the playoffs, plain and simple. Doesn't matter who wins this division. They're not making no noise in the playoffs. Once they go against legitimate teams, they're not making any noise. That's just the facts. So fuck this damn division. I don't want to win at this point. I I want changes to be made. I want long term changes to be made. Like I said, that comes with. Firing these coaches, most of these coaches, that comes with get rid of Harry Roseman, get the new GM. That means get rid of a lot of these old ass dinosaurs and these players who, such as Zach Ertz, can fucking go. Get your value for him right now. But a lot of these old ass dinosaurs like Jason Peters, like Deshaun Jackson, uh, all Sean Jeffrey, can all go. Absolutely can all go. Um, we're stuck with Carson Wentz, like I said, for the next two years, unfortunately. Because the dumbass contract that um that the Harry Roseman gave him, we're stuck with him, unfortunately. But I will put his ass on notice as well. 
And one way to put them on notice is to bench his ass and also, you know, um, start making some, you know, fire a lot of these, you know, fire a lot of these enablers, such as Press Taylor, the quarterback coach around him. So, yeah, man, I'm happy to hear that, like I said, I'm very happy to hear that, that Roseman is getting tired, I'm, excuse me, Lurie's getting tired of what he's seeing. But like I said, man, I really just don't, I really don't want this, you know, making the playoffs, which the Eagles still very well can do, to be an excuse to keep him. That that is not an excuse. The only, like I said, the only way Dub P's to keep his job, if I'm in charge, is if the you no know, he gives up his play calling and also he wins the Super Bowl this year. But like I said, neither one of those are gonna happen. So anyway, man, let me know what you guys think in the comment section. Do you think that Jeffrey Lurie is actually gonna pull the trigger um, in January? Uh, no, if do you think he's gonna pull the, the trigger and actually make changes that we have been calling for for weeks? Let me know what you guys think in the comment section. As always, go birds. Spunky nice, my one is out of here. Flag will fly. Peace.